Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-ay. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-ay. <laughs> my friends, this is Bubba, the Jewish redneck prepper. Uh, I tried to sing you the opening song of the Song of the South. If anybody ever remember that old Disney uh, movie, it was based on the story tales of old Uncle Remus. That's right, folks. Uncle Remus. Burr Rabbit, Burr Fox, Burr Bear, and the old Tar Baby. Me growing up as a youngin, I remember reading all these old songs. Hearing these songs and reading the book of old Burr Rabbit and all the tales and everything. Well, today we're over here in the home of the Uncle Remus Museum here in Putnam County. Edenton, Georgia. And folks, uh, we're going to give you a little tour of the grounds here, of uh, the museum here. We're right off of the old downtown 441 here in uh, Edenton, Georgia. So uh, go with us as we give a little ground tour here of the Uncle Remus Museum established in 1963. All right, folks, let's go. <laughs> oh, mercy. Howdy. And folks... There's those sign, there's old Burr Rabbit say, <laughs> saying hello to everybody. And say, hey, y'all say hey to Burr Rabbit. Hey, yep. Wish I had came here and had a little more funds. I don't even know if the, the other says it's open here today. And we're going to walk the grounds, try to walk the grounds here. See what all they got. There's old Burr Bear out there. Let's go. Hey, y'all come on out here and stand by Burr Bear. Let's find old Rock. Rock out here in the parking lot here. <laughs> Y'all stand by Burr, Burr Bear there. Yeah, I'll give them to you. Y'all say hey. My daughter Mahaley. And my son Pierre. Old, old, old Bear. Looks like a big cutout with a chainsaw. Old Burr Bear here. Walk around here. Here's old Burr Fox back here. Y'all go stand over there. Old Burr Fox. Yeah, there he is. Give him a hug. Y'all give him a hug. Y'all say hey. hey. All right. Hey. Okay, we got a little statue over here. It's a little part that they got on the outside here. Dedication of Burr Rabbit. The old tails here of Uncle Remus. The old rabbit sitting there. So Burr Rabbit born and bred in the Briar Patch. He survives forever by his wit and his courage and his Honey, no Uncle Remus stories. We got old over here, and we got flowers and plants over here. That's uh, got names of this old China berry. Over here, we got uh, a dedication to somebody here in 2004. Right over here it says the hibiscus mutabilis. It was a gift from David Thomas and his Confederate Rose. Hey, folks, y'all want to go give a little hug to uh, Burr Fox? Y'all say hey. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's walk down through you. And we got a state marker here. It's the Uncle Remus Museum. This memorial. To Joel Chandler Harris, and that's the author of all the stories, and he got most of his stories from uh, slaves that was told to him. But he's been given the the uh, being the author of the stories, but which really he got these stories from other people. But he said he was born in Edenton in December the ninth, nineteen forty-eight. It was constructed from three slave camp cabins found in Putnam County, Uncle Remus Museum Incorporated. It is a local nonprofit organization of dedicated citizens established and has maintained its operation continuously from the opening of April 21st, 1963. This is Turner Park and it's part of the home place of Joseph Sidney Turner, the little boy to whom the world famous stories of the critters were told by Uncle Remus. Harris, unique creation, Turner 
grew up at Turn World, nine miles east of Edenton, home of his father, Joseph Addison Turner, where Harris had his first job assisting in printing and the countryman. That monument was erected in 1977. All right, folks, they just walked down through here and through this little park. But the museum here, there it is, a bird turtle. Y'all want to go over there and check a look at him? Hey, you suppose don't walk on the grass? It's a beautiful park out here, folks. And they got all kinds of uh, plants out here to beautify the place. Y'all go say, hey, to the turtle. <laughs> Neat, got park benches out here. It's a great place. And most of the time the park is free, but I think they have like a five, six dollar admission to get inside the museum. It's all part of a meal wheel. Grit, uh, grind, grinding grits and corn to make meal and stuff. Yep, they already, that's probably the other half of it over there. Notice a lot of people like to make stepping stones and foundations, the old mills and everything. We're going to walk down through here to this park. Check everything. Oh, well, ain't that neat, y'all? Bird rabbit over there again. There's no photography on the inside, so <laughs> I would cut my video getting off in here. But uh, see where? Yep, five dollars mission. So folks, that really ain't bad. That ain't bad. This is old log cabin that was, like I said, put together to make the foundation. Of it. Yeah, let's walk down through here. Let's take a look. And still, that ain't that ain't bad, folks. If you uh, do. Homeschooling like me and my wife do here, with us and our children. That's a good living history thing to take them to like this here. Especially if you homeschool here in Georgia. You see the cabin and everything. Go down here. What they got in there, kids? This is probably where they... Oh, this is old blacksmith shop, yeah. Ain't this neat? Old black smith. Old forge over there, anvil. They got set up here like back at the turn of the century, what it would look like back in the 1800s and everything. I don't know if we can get all out here to the other part from this area. So let's walk down through here. See what all it said under this shed here. What's it say here? Yep, this is a blacksmith, 1969. Gives a little bit of information on the history of this blacksmith shop. I'm not sure what this machine is, but I do know what that is. This is old pot to make uh, syrup, or cane syrup and stuff. They got all kinds of old tools out here. This little park. The park goes on down around around here. The, the type of fencing you would see. Yep. It's the type of fencing that you would see back in the day on old farms. Look at this old thing. It's like some kind of... It's a farm implement. I exactly for what it was for. I'm not sure. And we got little benches out here. Hey, little bridge. Yeah, we're going to cross and go over there to the other side here of the park. Well, i got picnic benches over there. You want to picnic out here. Beautiful elephant ear plants. A little stream that comes down through there. Some there. Oh, it's going up there, honey. Hmm. Watch out, there's a muddy spot there. I'm incredible for them. Well, we end up in the swamp it. area here. <laughs> but uh, well, go over here. I'll go up the hill this way. Another old hay implement over there with some old, uh, up underneath that old beautiful magnolia tree. Windmill. What? Windmill. No, Windmill. that's not part of it. It is. Seen it. No, that's not a, a mill piece there. That's the one on the other side, though. And here, restroom facilities for folks here at the park. 
picnic tables. So this is a real nice place, folks. Just come for you and spend time with your family. A little bit of local history. Another place here is a well. See if it's even open here. The well here. No, it's a well that at one time has been capped off. Everything, but I think at one time they it was open to the public many years ago. But a nice place to have a picnic. Another thing, and they got another state marker here. What's this? It says the town well shelter. Okay, what all does it say? Oh yes, this is the old town water for where the town used to get the water from. This is awesome. It says this well shelter was probably built in 1839 when James Wright fulfilled his contract to dig a new well and build a well shelter on the public square for $150. In 1902, a public drinking fountain was installed on the public square and the well was filled in. At the time, the well shelter was removed from the public square and at the request of Hampton C. Walker, the well shelter was placed over the well located on the property line between the old Adam Hafner house and the old... Dan O'Sullivan House, the middle of the well having been the property line between the two lots since 1817. Years later, W. Wingfield Walker, through inheritance from his father, Hampton C. Walker, owned both lots and sold them. The well, a landmark of long standing, was filled in when the present radio station was constructed in 1962. The well shelter, having sustained only minor alterations and repair over the years, was removed at the request of W. Wingfield Walker to turn apart. Oh, man. Ain't that neat? That's awesome. Well, folks, we're on our way out of the uh, Uncle Remus Museum here. I hope you enjoyed this little <laughs> roadside park. And that's right. Uh, Edenton, Georgia, and Putnam County is the home of Uncle Remus. Well, folks, if you're not a member of my YouTube channel, The Jewish Redneck Prepper, let me encourage you to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video or not, hit like and uh, share it and subscribe. Until the next time, this is Bubba, The Jewish Redneck Prepper, saying so long, shalom, and God bless.